Now let us go to the strategies. Okay. So as you can see, most of the uh, match or uh, key generator standards or parser level are have all strategies, right? So they are. Uh, that's where you define the rules and all those. Okay. This is also very important in a matcher process. This is a very important. Everyone uh, asks this question. Okay. That what are the different strategies within matcher which you have worked on, or you know about? Rather than worked on, they will tell you know about, right? So these are the different. Hamming distance, zero distance, reverse Hamming distance, edit distance, and biograms. Okay. Now every search algorithm has its own meaning, right? If you click on this, you, you will see the thing. So biogram distance, whenever there are addresses, we we use biogram distance. Whenever there are small text or short text, such as such as name and all those, we use the edit distance algorithm. wherever there the position is important zip codes and all those we use the hamming distance okay then zero distance is for the, similarly uh, to compare words on text which is similar to the initials which is the priority uh, and reverse hamming distance is same like hamming distance is a position critical right but is from left to right and reverse is from right to left uh, i guess that's right uh, yeah reads input data from right to left okay so these are the different things now let us go with the suppose name right we are doing for example so we we'll click on edit distance click on next okay what next comes up we will give the edit distance and you can give this name okay we are going to edit it now this is the weight okay so what happens in a match uh, in between if you have any question you can just tell me okay because obviously as uh, i can read your minds right if you Thing that it's getting complicated or not? Don't understand it. No. What it happens? Like suppose John Smith versus John Smith. If it's just uh, uh, their keys are same, for example. Okay, and it went for matching. Now these are exactly same, so obviously we will have an exact match. So there are two things. One is exact matching. Okay. one term is exact matching and another term is fuzzy matching okay. so this will tell tell it as a exact match what does exact match means that it is matching with exactly so that's why the score is one okay now what happens for this suppose john smith and another record has something like john smith okay now this one we call a fuzzy match why because as you can see these are not exactly same record right which is going for matching it might happen that it can match so as per that algorithm for example we are using edit distance as per the algorithm obviously exact match will always be one so no issue with that but whenever there is some differences in the values so as per the algorithm John Smith and John Smith. These are little bit different, right? So as per that edit distance algorithm, it gives a score accordingly. Okay. Suppose 0.7. Okay. So kindly, we obviously, if you ask me, like, uh, can you show what are the score? It might come up. Currently, we don't have that information. It's totally a black box. Means at the back end, uh, IDQ runs those algorithm and come up with the scores. But suppose these two came up with 0.7, right? As a score, John Smith and Johnny Smith. Here you are giving the weight as 0.5 as a threshold. That means anything which the score is 0.5 or above that will be a match. Here it is 0.7. That's why it will match. Now, for example, you have something like John Smith and suppose uh, Johnny Smith, something like this. And the score came output of the score came as 4.4. Uh, sorry, 0.4, right? Here it is less than the threshold which you have defined. So, though the key generator, it might happen your key generator have a same group key. Means obviously it will have a group key same because uh, it will otherwise not look for matching. 
so if, if but still you see that these two record will not find a match with each other okay so here you can set up the score accordingly 0.5 so more you go up the more less matching will happen right so you need to be very careful while determining the weightage okay you just cannot give 0.9 0.9 means you are making the matching very stringent so you are telling that the name should be very similar to each other otherwise i don't want to match then you can increase the weightage okay but uh, default uh, which id to give is 0.5 right um now what happens that if if uh, it also generates scores where suppose there is an example this happened right it might happen like um, suppose the group key generated on the address column okay so as per the address column your group key is same but obviously the matching is happening on the name column right so suppose value versus null came as 0.3 0.4 so here also you can set up threshold for these scenarios where null versus value what kind of threshold you want to take right so suppose one of the requirement is obviously you don't want null with this uh, any value to match right in that case you can make you can make it high so most of the case it will not find a match null versus now if you have both the fields are null then also you can give a threshold right so same thing suppose you are making um, your uh, key generated is also on the name even if it's also on the name then also it, it, there's a probability of having the same group key right and null versus null do you want to match do you don't want to match if you want to match you can lower the score the threshold so anything is which is more than 0.1 can will match but if you don't want to match you can increase the score so null versus null you don't want to match right so all this you can do play around with it right so this way in the null match if we give this both fields null and single field null as point point nine point nine then it will not come uh, so you are telling uh, both field null you are given point nine yes here also point nine yeah so, yeah so uh, those will be different scenarios. So if it's both are null, so obviously it will hit it here, right? The second one, right? Now I am telling yes. null versus null. If the edit distance come with the score, I am just telling 0.8, right? Suppose null versus null, the score came is 0.8. But you have set up that anything if it's point above 0.9, then only it will match. But it is coming 0.8, so it will not match. Now suppose you give it 0.5. Then it will match because IDQ with the edit distance algorithm is telling it's 0.8, but you have given 0.5, which is 0.8 is more than 0.5, then it will find a match with each other. Make sense? Yes. So this is your edit distance, and you suppose made it 0.7. We go to next okay in the next you have to give like what are your input right so now what happens in idq first first name for example first name it will mirror another column okay suppose it will take so first name was always a single uh, column in the source okay so obviously what will happen that first name So it will have one uh, first name and here first name. So it will similarly it will work like this only. It will just make a copy of two records always, and accordingly John Smith will try to see whether it's match with John Smith or not. So how you configured? You have to configure like this: first name underscore one, first name underscore two. Okay, that's how IDQ works. Like uh, initially, it's, it looks a little bit strange to me. Like why to take two columns? Because within columns it finds the match, but IDQ actually uh, mirrors the same column into two and then goes with matching between the columns, okay, across the columns. So 
first strategy we told like let's take the first name click on next then we'll create another strategy with the array distance same thing make it seven this one i'll take the last name last name underscore one last name underscore. Okay. and i'll click on finish okay now what is happening that in the match process we have identified the group key right so wherever there will be same group key only matching will happen within those group key otherwise it will not and uh, if the group key is obviously is different then it will not so that is that's why it's very important sequence id is important to identify uh, each records okay and accordingly you can see let me okay so we also created one uh, match rule okay as a strategies uh, rather two match strategies for first name and last name and we define the scores also 